everyone welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video hey guys so i'm here once again to remind you that this is a two-part video because yeah no i just talked a lot so in case you missed the first video i'll link it up wherever it comes out so that video is more of the family friendly game this video will be more of the scarier games more horrific games the games that have a lot of like really creepy artwork has a lot of murder and death uh it just gives you more of those scarier like halloween vibes kind of deals so let's go ahead and get back to the video also it's pretty hot so do not be shocked if this wig gets snatched midway through it because i'm going to be like walking back and forth putting these games across fury of dracula so of course with the movie we're going to go with dracula any of the universal uh, monster Dracula. I do have a review for Dracula 1950 something. I think it is, but I think there's like a lot of them. Um, or you can go with any newer Dracula movies, you know, any Dracula, but this definitely is like OG Dracula. Like, don't go too new. This is a hidden movement game. Uh, this one is more on the advanced side, so if you are a very beginner, not one I would really recommend for beginners, um, but it's really good. It looks stunning i love the artwork there is somebody who's playing as dracula and everybody else again investigators as the investigator you are trying to find dracula dracula is moving around the board around the world he's making other vampires and you have to catch him before he makes i don't know how many vampires or whatever it is that he's doing i can't remember we only played this once last year for spooky season we had a lot of fun it is a long one I have another one that is based off of a movie totally forgot when i was doing like my movie things well actually i was doing like movies but they were family friendly this one's not family friendly this one is a the thing the board game now there are two versions of the thing the other one um is simpler i don't know what what's there it's a simpler game this one there's more to it it does look more stunning okay i'm not gonna lie to y'all I have not played this game yet. Also like a hidden traitor element because there's gonna be somebody who's a thing and then, you know, they're gonna try to uh, symbiote or whatever it's called, you know, like make other things. They're gonna make you into a thing. It's one of those like, hey, who can you trust? Who can you not? Are we gonna stick together? And are we gonna go in, into this room and get things that we need to get together? But then again, like, are you the thing? So it's very like tricky and I'm going all this by what I've, read about it because again i have not played it and of course we're gonna go with john carpenter's the thing because it is a classic but i can't wait till i can actually play this game mysterium this is a beautiful game this was one of like the early uh ones that i added to the collection when i got into the hobby this was my upgrade from clue so if you love clue this is a nice little upgrade right here absolutely beautiful oh my god the box is upside down from the back yeah so in this one you are playing investigators and somebody is playing the ghost that got murdered okay so you, the ghost for some reason or another cannot talk not investigators sorry you're playing psychics oh lord i'm so used to saying investigators they invited like the best psychics in the world aka you and your friends and the ghost will try to communicate through these like really beautiful like artsy um cards here that you have to decipher to be able to figure out where she was killed with what and who did it like clue okay it is a cooperative game it is a time game it is so much fun i love it the movie that i'm going to be recommending for this one would be final destination you can do all of them have yourself a final destination like marathon because if you think about it the clues that you're being given here like you're like what the hell does that mean i'm deciphering and in final destination the clues that they're trying to for death you know and there's like a dead person in here right it's like well what do these clues mean and so like doesn't always make sense i think i nailed that next one is the night cage it's still in wrap y'all i bought this a while ago i haven't had a chance to uh play it i haven't had a chance to play my version of it. we're gonna be playing this this year for sure for um our, our spooky night which will be next weekend we were supposed to do it tonight because i'm filming this on friday but it had to be pushed uh to next week because my niece uh, was going to the state fair it is a cooperative top placement game and you are lost souls and you are trapped in the lab labyrinth in the internal darkness <gasps> and it's elaborate so it changes a lot you have to find keys there's monsters i didn't know what movie for this to be honest with you i looked up caves and then as above so below is the one that I decided to choose when i was saying desert about it she goes that's the one i was thinking about i said perfect i've never seen that movie <laughs> never seen it all right guys <sighs> the wig came off 
Whew. Also, look at my hair growth over here. Let me put this game down. Look how long. So I'm definitely in that awkward hair streak stage. So thankfully, it's like getting into the colder weather, so I can just have my hair down and hide like the awkwardness. Uh, but I'm gonna let it just grow out um, up until like springtime, and then I'm gonna let wherever this hair growth is is where I'm gonna chop off my hair, and then I'm gonna donate um, the rest of it, and then we'll let it grow out again. So we are entering our like HP Lovecraft ch uh, stage. Cthulhu and first up is gonna be Mansions of Madness. This was actually one of the first um, games in my collection as well. Look at this one right here, okay? So this is an app based game. I guess it's pretty beginner friendly as well because they have different levels. It has like all the little monsters, all the little miniatures. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, it is spooky. So de definitely be careful with like the youngsters. Um, I know a lot of people don't like like app based games, but it's really cool because the app just keeps everything very well organized. It's uh, playing spooky music half the time. I'm just like, no, I'm okay. The thing is, it is a lot to set up. It's a bitch to set up. You're investigators. You're going through this house, this haunted house. You're fighting the monster that, you know, pop up. You're searching. You're, it's a puzzly game. There's like puzzles that you have to, you know, decipher to get certain clues. I always die. Oh no, I don't, I don't die always in this. It's a different game that I always die. Um, but I think we've only saved the butler once. <laughs> Usually he dies. The movie for this will be 13 Ghosts. Cause you're in a house, you're searching for something and there's ghosts and there's monsters and there's as close as we're gonna get. Then we have the one that I do always die in and that is Elridge Horror, which once again, you are investigators. You are investigators around the world though. The other one, you're stuck in the house and well, you're not necessarily stuck in there, you can leave. But here you are around the world, you're investigating, you're defeating monsters. There's monsters that are spawning out of nowhere. You gotta go close these gates because otherwise these things keep coming at you. You gotta defeat the elder one. Beautiful, beautiful board. Definitely has like that OG stuff. I love the artwork. I do have some upgraded pieces like for like the gates, but I always die in this game. Never fouls. Played this game with the group. They were pretty beginner, beginners, and they were able to pick it up pretty, uh, pretty easily. But I would say more for like intermediate and then like more advanced gamers. But um, definitely, if you you know if it sounds interesting to you, give it a shot. Look at the how-to videos. The movie. I'm, I'm gonna gonna really think of a movie. It's gonna be kind of kid. It's 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 kiddie. Uh, it's the closest that I could get with it. It's gonna be Goosebumps. Remember the goosebumps? They come out through the book, so aka the portals, and they just kind of pop out of nowhere, boom, 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 and then they get sucked back through them, so they're getting sucked back through the portal. I feel like I did a pretty good job. They're monsters, monsters. I think I did pretty good with that, y'all. So the last game, not the last, I still got three more games, but the last game as far as like the whole um, Cthulhu is gonna be un fathomable. It's another one that's really good. Has little uh, miniature monster deals. This one, you are on a boat. You are traveling from somewhere in the Atlantic, from Boston. You're making your way to Boston, okay? But guess what? There's monsters in the ocean. They're trying to overtake your ship. And it's also a hidden traitor element in here. There for sure is somebody out here who said, hey, fisherman and got seduced by them, and it's now part of the Fisher people here. Not family friendly, because <laughs> there are monsters, there are creepy stuff, there's people dying, people, you know, being possessed and stuff, okay? So like, mm, take, so, you know, at your own risk. It's another one like Elric Horror, um, intermediate, like more advanced is what I would recommend, but again, I did also play this with pretty like beginners. Again, it took a minute to, understand it. Oh, it's cool because I, as the boat is moving, they move that direction because they're like, you know, it's like the boat is like. The movie for this, honestly, is just based off of the ship. And they're, and they're, I mean, there's ghosts and there's monsters. That's gonna be ghost ship. Ship, ship, monster, monster. I'm not gonna lie every time that thing turns red, I'm like, is it my viewfinder? Why is it red? I got it a little while ago. Haven't had a chance to play. Hopefully it's one that I can play um, next weekend. And that is Psycho Killer. And I love the packaging. Look y'all, it's a VHS. It's a VHS. 
Um, so I don't know too much about this game, to be honest with you. Um, I believe there's a psycho killer there. And there's two to six players. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I don't, I don't really know. The movie for this, Scream. Cause look, there is a psycho killer in Scream. There's a knife right there. We are going to the mall. We're gonna be attacked by zombies. And we're gonna have an epic time with this tiny little game. And that is Tiny Epic Zombies. Um, this one is very beginner friendly. Um, it's a tiny little game. Well, it's a tiny little box. But it really is an epic game. But you are playing in a mall. And there are zombies around. It is a cooperative game. You are fighting the zombies that are like in all the stores. You're able to hit them. You're able to get up. Um, you're able to get weapons. Uh, but uh, there's more to that. You actually have to get around the store and like find certain objectives for you to be able to leave. I think it's like three different objectives that you have to do in order to be able to like find your way out of the mall, get out of the mall. But it is a zombie game based in the mall, so of course, Dawn of the Dead. Is that right? I think Dawn of the Dead, yeah, I'm always getting them mixed up and I'm always trying to say something else. So then we have the bloody inn. You are somebody who owns uh, an inn and you're trying to get your guests in and out. You're trying to collect money, but guess what? You're also murdering them and like stealing from them. You're bribing people. It's a very, very shady corporation or like establishment rather, <laughs> not corporation. It's a very shady establishment that you have going on. Um, I really in, uh, dig it, but I dig it be better solo. The movie will be hostile because you know, they're in a hostel. There's murdering happening there. Um, the police may be involved because you never know who's under your bow. And then finally, after your long game night, you just wanna chillax. Or maybe you just don't have friends like me, okay? And you're just like, man, I want a creepy solo game. And guess what? This is the creepy solo game. And that is Final Girl, all right? I do only have four Final Girls. I did back season three up. I'm so excited. I think it's the first time that I've backed it so I can get all of them. No, I didn't go all in, but I picked the one where I can get like all of the stuff. I'm very excited. But this is a solo only game and you are playing the final girl in like the horror movies. So this one is Hans the Butcher um, at the Happy Camp Trail. There's always like two final girls that you're playing. Um, it's really cool because the um, board, I mean the board, the box is actually like the game board. So see, there's the, the camp, okay? And then you have cards here. It's something magnetic. That's what I wish that uh, Hocus Pocus was. On the other side, you have Hans. You have the bad guy. He comes with his own terror cards. You're gonna attempt to rescue some civilians. But you don't even know how civilians are in scary movies. They start panicking. Ah, look, it's Hans. And then like you roll a dice, they're there. And you're like, lady, stay with me. The exit is like right here. You just face up and then you'll be rescued but no you take off running and then what happens you end up dead that is your thoughts they see very beginner friendly so this one is like um jason um but he's like in a pig face version of it but this is like the jason the friday the 13th version because it's at camp but there's so many there's like the strangers nightmare on elm street there's a lot of games. There's two seasons out right now. Okay, guys, that is gonna be it because my battery's literally about to die as it always does. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, let me know down below which one of these games kind of interest you the most. Which one maybe would you like to go and uh, check out? Like Jeff and Jamie say and Foster the Meeple, uh, if you're interested in any of the games, like the very many that I spoke about today, consider checking out your local uh, GameStop. For me here in Dallas, it is House Rules. Um, there are in Bishop Arts. It's a great location. But that's it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.